back to entitled people. I might have told this story before, but not as a moto vlog. When I was going to college, I wanted to get a uh, an internship. I was I was in uh, Virginia, and the college I was going to had uh, a a connection with NASA and so I wanted to get an internship at NASA but um, there was a disconnect between the internship program and uh, at the college and the internship program at NASA where I, I kept asking the internship office at the college, hey, you know, I'm interested in um, getting a, an internship at NASA, but so what do I have to do? What what does my GPA have to has have to be? I think at the time I had like a 3.9 GPA, and uh, they said, oh yeah, you only you you just need a, a minimum of like a 3.5 GPA, and uh, but they don't have any openings. Uh, for interns right now. I'm like, well, you know, well, at least not for the mechanical engineering department. So I was like, okay, you know, I kind of trusted their their information. And long story short, I, I found out from, had, had some classmates that are actually employees at uh, at NASA, and they told me, what? Yeah, we, we got internships. So, uh, yeah, I was a little, a little disappointed and a little ticked off, to say the least, um, because the time to register for those internships had passed when I found out that there were internships for mechanical or engineering students um, after you know after the deadline had already passed, and so well. I talked to the internship department. I was like, hey, you know, what's the deal here? You guys said there weren't any internships available, but I have classmates that work there, and they said there were. Well, you know, they just gave me a load of BS that, oh, well, this and that. And I was like, you know what? Forget you guys. But I, <laughs> but I did. Uh, they So they posted a, uh, a job fair for uh, some local industry places and so I wasn't planning on going but I think that weekend I had a I had a, uh, a study group meeting or something like that so I went ahead and attended the uh, I went ahead and attended the job fair and gave my resume to a couple of places and I got a call back from a casting factory in uh, in Virginia in, in the local area so um, that's another story <laughs> so I got an internship there and I actually as an engineering intern I was actually making more money than my wife who was a teacher at the time uh, per hour obviously uh, with benefits and stuff like that I think it, it kind of made up for for the shortcoming in the per hour pay rate. So anyway, I get this internship, and um, you know, I was a non-traditional student, what they call non-traditional. I was uh, older than 24, <laughs> and so I worked for Department A. It was called Department A, and you know, there are other departments and. Every department seemed to have intern, interns in, in their department. And I worked for a pretty cool group of people. Uh, I think uh, Larry was the department head. I worked for a guy named George. Um, you know, and George was pretty laid back. And the internship it was just, uh, I was a gopher. I was a gopher for the engineering department, but then uh, being assigned to George, George would have me do specific tasks. 
and I was kind of a different intern than the other interns that they had in that the other interns they had were assigned to uh, in to, to workstation they had to do like a couple of days at each workstation like uh, you know one was like uh, uh, putting putting the parts together one was in the you know, if you know anything about casting one department would inject the wax another department would dip the wax in a uh, in a plaster type material another department and so on and so forth so the other interns were assigned to each department for a couple of days just to, to learn the rope well I never was assigned to any one of those you know I was assigned like like that like the other interns were so uh, I bet I just essentially was a uh, uh, an expediter for a project that, that George was working on you know he would say okay I got this part in this department go see check on the status of it push it along if you can and so that's what I did uh, and then towards the end of my internship uh, there was a single project that I was in charge of so it's quote unquote in charge of so I had to follow this whole this process throughout the whole manufacturing uh, endeavor but during that time I was I was starting to get kind of familiar with the lay of the land of the of the company I knew a few of the other interns and you know we got along pretty well uh, I got along with the uh, other engineers in the in department A well out of nowhere I get this I can't remember if it was an email or another intern told me, hey, uh, this one engineer wants a meeting with all the interns. So we'll call that engineer Karen. <laughs> now, supposedly, Karen graduated from MIT, right? Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the, the um, I don't know, the mecca of engineering or, or technical college and also I think it was uh, Berkeley or Stanford or whatever that she also went to but anyway she was this you know holier than thou uh, person engineer that graduated from these, pre the, these prestigious technical colleges and at first I didn't have a problem with that I mean hey I I wouldn't mind it going to MIT if I was smart enough, uh, but I was just your your average engineering student, just trying to get through my studies so I can uh, find a, a real job and make good money, right? So anyway, this uh, this Karen called all the interns to her office, and it was really bizarre. Her office was like in in the loft of the company. There was a upstairs area where they they stored a bunch of stuff, and you had to walk through a bunch of stored cooling to get to her quote unquote office, which was it was weird. I had to walk across some planks. <laughs> I, I don't know what the deal was that was about that, but her office was just a little dank room uh, in this mezzanine area, and so she uh, you know she has like four or five of the, of his interns in there. She's like handing out work assignments. She goes, you know, she says, "Here, you, I need you to go collect this data," and tells this other guy, "I need you to collect this data," and and so on and so forth. And then she wanted me to look up a whole bunch of information and fill up uh, a spreadsheet or something. I'm like, um, "Okay, uh, well, I work for George, so I don't know. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to see what the priority is. Being that, you know, I wasn't your." traditional student I, I wasn't just gonna roll over and just take instructions because she was uh, a, a, an engineer that was senior to me a lowly intern and she's like well uh, she said something kind of snooty she goes well um, you know whatever do what, whatever you got to do but I need this information by Friday or something like that and I was like um, okay you know whatever so I go find my uh, my mentor George, and I think George was out in a meeting or something like that. 
so I ran into Larry, the department head. I was like, hey, Larry, um, Karen wants me to do this this project for her, but I've got things that i got to do for George. What's the, you know, is are you aware that she's asking the interns to do this this um, separate work beyond what we're being assigned? And he goes, what? I was like, yeah, Karen had all us interns up in her office and handing out work assignments. And he goes, let me look into it, but for now, don't worry about it. If, if uh, I, I'll, I'll come get you if, if you need to do anything about this. So just, just keep doing what you're doing, and uh, don't worry about what Karen wants. I was like, all right. So, needless to say, I never had to do any of the stuff that Karen wanted me to do, and I think um, some of the other interns got relieved of. Uh, what they had to do for Karen also after Larry got involved. <clears throat> well, after my internship, I was still talking to some of the engineers that, that I worked with. And uh, I was like, so whatever happened to Karen? And they said, yeah, apparently she, she felt she was uh, underpaid. So she talked to the guy who was the, uh, the hiring engineer that, that brought her in. Hey, you know, can I get some percentage raise for you know being a, uh, a high pollutant engineer and doing all his work and um, <laughs> and they basically told her well um, yeah what you're doing uh, isn't uh, isn't worth that amount of money and we can get other people to do the same thing for less so they uh, they told her yeah we need to part ways <laughs> so that's the story of the uh, the uh, high society engineer Karen that I worked with when I was uh, an intern. All right, later.